Now, she needed a 9.75 to move ahead of Sabrina Marr. Here's that performance by Christy Phillips, the current national all-around champion on the floor exercise. <laughs> And this performance was even better than in the team competition. Watch this full twisting double bat. Good landing. I am always amazed at how she pulls out those double bats. She's had this kind of style and pizzazz since she was a little girl, hasn't she, Kat? I've known Chris that she was about five years old, and she used to love performing. There's a double tuck. Had to step forward out of that, but many gymnasts would have touched it out. this routine. Looks like a lot of fun. Although you have to admit, this wasn't an easy routine for Christy Phillips. She really honed in on making sure that the, she did this final pass perfectly, a pike double back. It's been said that Christy Phillips could become one of the best crowd gymnasts of all time. This is where Christy shows her tremendous determination in competition. The full in pike is not really that great. It certainly isn't very high. And look at she just barely beats her head to the mat. She gets her floor down, her feet down, and you'd never know that she barely made it the way she sells that to the judges. And again here, doing a tuck double back. Now you can see she had to step forward, but it's really not a deduction. And her score. 9.725. It's a sport of microseconds and decimal points, and she is now, as I mentioned, just one twelve thousandths of a point out of first place. Here on her last tumbling run, she did a pike double back. This was the cleanest of the three moves because she pulled it around a little bit easier than I expected that she'd landed at the end of the exercise. A very difficult dismount. Well done. So now we move on from the first rotation.